What up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. It's the hardest languages to learn in the world. And will you or will you not be surprised by what is number one? Okay, so we'll get to that. So mm -hmm. let's go from 10 to one. So the, the t oh, and this, by the way, this list was released by UNESCO, which is United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural yeah. Organization, which um, I really like that organization because if you guys don't know, there's a lot of UNESCO world heritage sites. Mm -hmm. um, so they, this organization still fights to keep, preserve, not only, it's basically the heritage of earth. So languages, sure. sites, it's it's not just limited to certain countries like around the world. So I like that. Yeah, I actually didn't know what UNESCO stand, stood for, but now I know. So anyways, number 10 is French. Okay, it's the official language of 29 countries. That is hard. French. I tried, I tried taking that in elementary school. Yeah, and failed, right? Yeah, and uh, oh. I went to Paris and I was like, I'm not even gonna try because it, it sounds sounds like I can't do it. All right, you, you don't know this. Before we, this is about five years ago, right? I, I had a, I, I was, uh, had a different job and five, more than five years ago. So I, I had somewhat free time on my hands mm -hmm. at night. I worked uh, at a restaurant. Yeah. What, so I had some free time. So I was like, what am I gonna do? So I, I decided to try to learn new languages. So at the same time, I got French Rosetta Stone. I bought Japanese, this is the same time. I yeah. ordered them all. I got Portuguese, Japanese, Russian, French, and Spanish wow, books. Wow, ambitious were you? Yeah, so I got them all. I had a stack of them. Uh -huh. So not only did I get the books, I got some on Rosetta Stone, and I got some on tape, so I could listen to it yeah. while I went to the subway. I tried French. It was, to me, it was the hardest. And, and everybody has has well, for different to you reasons. and also Joey Tribbiani. Oh, Joey, forget about it. I mean, I was basically Joey. Je blue. That's basically what I sounded like. Because I couldn't, I just, okay, so if, if, if French, if you're from Europe, actually, um, because French is a Roman-based language, mm -hmm. uh, if you if you speak Italian, if you speak Portuguese, if you speak Spanish, French will be much easier to yeah. learn, okay? If you like me, and I spoke English and Chinese, I'm sorry, I just, I couldn't pronounce the words. It's really difficult. And, French, and I've been to, you've been to France, yeah. I have family that are basically French Chinese. They don't speak English, they don't speak Chinese that well, they speak French. They're really, I'm sorry, they're kind of rude when I try to speak French because when you don't speak French perfectly, I mean a lot, but, but know, once you like, master it, it's so beautiful. It is, so, once you master it. Je viens, je viens, je te croissant. Je m'appelle croissant, je me dis. Sounds beautiful, but can't do it. Yeah, can't do Next, it. Next, Danish. Yeah. I don't even know what that sounds like, to tell you the truth. Um, you know what, you know what Swedish sounds yes. like, right? Uh, ja, danke. I mean, we're butchering it, obviously. Right? And, but a lot of the the a lot of the ones on this list will be like Finnish, Norwegian, Danish, yeah. Icelandic. It'll be. It kind of sounds the same, sort of. Nordic, yeah. So it has a similar roots. So Danish uh, is a North Germanic language. It's spoken by six million people, and it, the reason it's so difficult, of course, is the pronunciation. Yeah. And and we know because like even in, in Icelandic, you see like like re, like you know Golfvals, Reykjavik, Kajaj, like you're like. How can you put all those consonants together and pronounce it? Yeah, I, I heard them speak it, and, and it's difficult. So Norwegian is the next one mm -hmm. at number eight. Yep. And then German uh, sounds hard. Norwegian number eight, German sounds hard. Um, so these are all kind of like the Germanic Nordic languages. I mean, yeah. they're all very different, but... Well, German is not nor, 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 uh, nor, normatic. But... Right, nor, Nordic. No, I mean, German is not Nordic. Yeah. But German actually is spoken very widely in a lot of European countries, and also um, it's it's got a lot of different dialects. The only German I learned was yeah. from a video game, the original video video game Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Yeah. Doom. And then the only German word I know is "gut talk" before the guy starts shooting at me. So he would say "good" and then kill. No, he said "gut talk", talk, which is "good afternoon." Oh, good. Yeah, and yeah. Like, yeah. Then he starts shooting you. So the next one, of course, we we don't know much about. You know, it's Finnish. Um, yeah. I, I just feel like a lot of those in there, they're, they, they're, they're very difficult, very difficult to yeah. learn. Um, so I agree with that. Nice, next one, number four, Icelandic, of course. Number five. Well, number five oh, is Icelandic. No, oh. it's Japanese. Oh, number five is Japanese. You know what, I'll tell you this. I took Japanese for two years in yeah. college because I wanted to uh, teach English in Japan because I always okay. wanted to go to Japan. Mm -hmm. And uh, I learned Japanese. Yeah. yeah it, to me, it was okay. It wasn't too difficult, right. but maybe because I knew Chinese. So I could read most, not most, but like I could read the kanji, yeah. which in Japanese word is hanzi, right? Yeah. Chinese characters, I could read all that. Um, I, I really liked the, the names uh, Japanese people gave things. For, what do you mean, for example? Like, for example, cheesecake in Japanese is 
cheese cake. You know? I love yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know, like, 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 so I'm so thinking. So you just put cool after it. And then you make it sound really Japanese. Right. So I'm thinking, yes. like, I don't need to know any of these. It's like, oh my god. Computer is computer. So you're basically <laughs> like, yo, I could speak half English. So I'm like, if I go to Japan, I could just literally be like, if I don't, if I, where's the bathroom? Excuse me. Where is the bathroom? Yeah. Wow. Yes. That's, that's pretty <laughs> racist. So you're basically like, I'm gonna say this in a in a Japanese accent and see if you understand. I was like, I was like, does that work? Yo. No, that's not gonna work. Okay. But it's my two favorite work. words in Japanese class was uh, were uh, uh, my my teacher was Hara Hara Sensei. Yeah. Uh, Hara, he'd be like, he'd be like, he'd be like teaching. He'd be like, oh, who can tell me? Chen San. I'm like, oh, Hara Sensei. That's like my favorite things to yeah. say. Well, this is not my favorite, but thing yeah. I say the most, which means sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, I uh, I learned. Okay, I didn't learn Japanese. A lot of people, a lot of my friends, especially non Asians, they learn Japanese only to watch anime. Yeah. Okay, and and here here's why I feel like Japanese is not that hard to learn, because my friends learned it by watching anime. They literally learned it to a level where they can almost like they understand everything in the anime and then they can almost like kind of converse. Well, I'll tell you this right now. Japanese is definitely easier to learn than I would think Korean. Yes. Because I watched anime, I watched some K-dramas, right? Mm. So anime, the word Japanese Japanese words are very precisely enunciated. Correct. One by one by one by it, one, yes, right? It's phonetic. Yeah, it's like uh ski uh ski. Ski was I like you. I like yeah. you. Or, or like, like what you see is what you say. Yeah. Like it's yeah. uh, konnichiwa. It's yeah. like very easy to say. Exactly. Then you watch Korean dramas, you're just like, oh, and you're like, you're like, oh my god, like what did you just say? Yeah. It's like, sarangi zonsumida. In addition, like you, especially for a Chinese person, you can literally go to Japan right now and read half the sites. Yeah. You can, you go to Korea. Good luck, bro. No. Good luck. So I, yeah. I would definitely switch my in my list. I would switch out Japanese for. Korean. I mean, I wish I could speak Korean. Yeah. But it's not even on the hard to learn list. No way. It's so hard. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll we'll, we'll tell you what we think my, afterwards. My, my girlfriend would be like, okay. I'd be like, how do you say that? She's like, some I I'd be like, ah. Yo, I can't even say my yeah. girlfriend's name. Can I? Way. Yeah. I was gonna I was gonna ask you if I could tell tell people this, but you're basically you cannot say your girlfriend's name in Korean. And she was literally like, no, no. I know. No, and I, no, And I'm like, no. I'm like, she's like, no, it's like this. And I'm like, what's the difference? I can't, yeah. I cannot, I literally cannot hear the difference. You were like Joey with, uh, I'd be like, you know, je m'appelle blue. You're like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm like, no. No, mm -hmm. but it's, I get closer than that. But I feel like, <laughs> but I, feel like I can't <laughs> say it. Not much closer though. But you better learn that, bro. You no, can't, you better learn that, I'm trying man. to, I'm trying to, I, I get nervous every time I try to say the name, cause I'm like, uh, this is not, this is so hard. She's like, did you forget my name? You're like, no, no, I didn't. I'm just trying to figure out how to say it. So anyways, the next one, Arabic, number three. Okay. That sounds difficult. Sounds difficult. Um, number two, Greek. Uh, my, 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 my cousin-in-law is Greek. Um, I don't know, I even know what Greek sounds like, but I have no idea uh, if it's that hard or not. But anyways, let's get to number one, guys. Chinese. Chinese. I think I think most of you would agree because here's why Chinese is so hard. Okay, it's not it's not Chinese, okay? <laughs> it's Chinese is not a language. It's not a language because guys. there's there's 20 gazillion dialects in China. Right. All right, that's a problem. You got 56 uh, ethnic eth eth ethnic ethnic groups in yeah. China. Uh, Han Chinese, which mainly speaks Mandarin. Yeah. Then you got the Cantonese and whatever. And none of these guys understand each other. Like right. I don't understand Cantonese. If you only speak Cantonese, you, you don't you never learn Mandarin, you don't understand what I'm right. saying. So it's too difficult. Also, Mandarin, phonetics. I think Westerners especially struggle with phonetics. Right. So let me let me know if you guys can hear the difference of what I'm saying right now. Mm -hmm. Ma, 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 ma. Can you guys hear the difference? And I'll tell you this, each thing I said means something different. Right. And each, if, even if you take ma, like the first one, yeah. there's nine or 15 or 20 different meanings of just that one sound. Right. So that's so, why, that's why people are like, if you say, if you say something, it could literally mean something else. Yeah. So it's easy to mess up. Right. Right. So for example, for example, the ma, ma could mean ma, 
马，嗯 ，second second second tone could mean、uh, no，、right. 马 horse， yeah， 马 to curse， yeah， so you don't want to go to your mom and be like hey hey 马 and be like hey 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 horse， like you don't、yeah. want to do that， right， that's not that's your mom your mom's gonna cry。I mean even my name my name could literally mean big eagle big hero or big um uh or big music。I mean, it, it no, literally it means you're loud. Okay, or it can mean loud. <laughs> you know? No, no, like, no, no. You know what I no, mean? No, no. Dude, you, yours your can name, be like your name Star Chen, your name Monkey Chen. Means more you're loud than big, big loud than big music. I know. Okay, fine. I'll give you that. I'm just <laughs> saying. It can also like, mean. Da Yue. Yeah. <laughs> That's like big music. <laughs> but uh, but but look,、like, something my something my、sound. parents told me to make me feel better. All right. Okay. This is something they told me. But I actually I got I got a few reasons why I think Chinese is the easiest language to learn. I actually think it's the why? easiest. Why? Why would you say that? Easiest. First of all, it's phonetic. Okay. What again? What you see is what you, you pronounce. Mean Mandarin Chinese. Mandarin Chinese. Yeah. Sorry. Mandarin Chinese is phonetic. Okay. Everything you just said here. It's you, what you see is what you pronounce. So there's no guessing. It's just you've got to. Oh no no no! But but there's different tones. That's again, what people are gonna mess up. No no no! But but forget about the part where they will mess up or not. Inevitably, people will mess up pronouncing anything. I'm just saying, by law, by the rules of the language. Like for example, English is not phonetic. No, I I have to disagree with you. Yeah. There's also like let's say you try to speak it right. Yeah. There's also sounds that. Unless you you are Chinese,、right. you cannot you cannot make those sounds unless you like practice like like, like X, C, okay, C, okay, C is a sound that's basically in no other language almost. Okay, okay, C also S, S, okay, S, S, okay, and S those are two different words, right?、Yeah. And a lot of people are like, you just said the same thing. Yeah. Now let me back my thing up. So in any language, there are Things it's very hard to pronounce, right? We know that Chinese; those are those are the words. In Chinese, there are less hard words to pronounce. As long as you master those, it's it's easier. You can be understood. In those Nor Norwegian languages, there are so many sounds. You even in French. This is why, like, I'm boggled. I'm like, yo, I can half speak Chinese. All right. I, I'm all right at it. Come on, I'm all right at it. Yeah, you're okay. Right? You're understandable. But I understand the differences between like yin and yang. Okay, it's just hard for me to do because I didn't grow up speaking it. French. I'm sorry, man. Shanze lise. I'm. I'm like. I'm trying to pronounce it. It looks like I even try it, and people are like, "That's not right." And I'm like, "What am I doing wrong?" And that's French. Now you go to the, Nor the Russian. There's so many sounds where the nuances, like you know, with Korean, there's so many nuances that we're just not doing. And people are like, "You're not doing it right. You're not doing it." I'm like, "Oh, come on, man." Well, I, I'm、so. gonna, I'm gonna still go with Chinese, hardest to learn、right. ever. I and I and I also think that I mean Mandarin. I also think that there's so many people because of the interest in China. Because there's a particular reason why there's so much interest in the Chinese language. I feel like if you have the interest in it, you can learn anything, right? Chinese is the old. It's it's a in it's five thousand years. It's a living civilization here, folks. It's the oldest living civilization. So it's the only written language in the world today, surviving written language where the characters have much deeper inner meaning. There's no right well, other I'll, language I'll, until they they they、oh, changed it to simplify. Correct. If you we're talking about the traditional、yeah. language. If you go to Hong Kong and Taiwan, so I feel like. There's a there's a there's a spirit and quality of it that attracts not just Chinese but Westerners because it, it's it's un, it, you can't explain why and they're attracted to that because there's so much depth and spirituality behind these characters because Chinese people believed it was handed、sure. down from the heavens so because it because it has this inherent nature it becomes easier to learn when people will be obsessed to the point you hear these stories all the time like a, like a, like a Caucasian like a non Chinese learns it in like months because they're just so devoted to it. Because any with anything, look, you can learn anything with time. You know, a lot of times when you learn a language, it's in school or you're just listening to tapes. Whereas, a lot of people who learn Chinese, maybe even Japanese, Korean, the Asian languages, they will literally immerse themselves、mm. in it, and that's why they learn it easier. So, anyways, those are my reasons. I, I feel like Chinese is one of the easier languages to learn. I think uh, Spanish uh, as well, uh, but I, I don't think it's easy. But, but <laughs> there's definitely a lot of soul to it.、So、yeah, definitely. Let us know what you guys think. What what do you think is the hardest language to learn? Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. See. You.